Hey guys, Lynn here with the video for you all. Today we have the Webster's Pages um, uh, warehouse box. And this box, as you see, is tiny, but it's, it's a bit heavy. So let's go ahead and get this open so we can see what is inside of this box. I will post a picture of the contents of this box that way you guys can see what is in here so all right did we get it did we get it okay All right, y'all, let's see what is in here. And then here we have the goodies. Um, so first we have this little purple pack here. This is like a, a little case for you to hold your stuff in. So we got a pocket here. And see, that goes all the way down. Web pocket here another pocket here and then another pocket here so you can store different items in here so there's that and I think all of them are purple so as far as I know this is what it says um, here we have some it's called perfect accents non adhesive resin embellishments so all of these are the same you see here, project ideas and inspiration. Y'all know the first thing I thought about when I see these to make those um, those paper clip uh, holders. You know, to hold your the paper clip where you can hold your page in your journal. So that's what I thought about when I saw these. Next, oh, we have more. <laughs> so here we have. Uh, So these are all different. It said, well, two of each. Love this and smile. Okay. Next, we have some paper clips. So these are, as they say, designer paper clips. Again, this box was $35. Um, the previous box was $50. And here we have more. Uh, designer clips and these are shaped like animals oh okay okay so we've got what is that a onesie oh is this for kids you know like okay so a onesie and an elephant but they're all the same color okay next oh we have more <laughs> So what are these? These are paper clips as well, but these are the little um, uh, the little word bubble, speech bubble paper clips. These are cute. And next we have some mini bags. So these are those like little bag, little baggies. Uh, they're all the same. And uh, if you like, you could stick them, uh, put some double-sided adhesive on the back of this, stick it into one of your journals, and there you have it. You've got a little tuck spot for like some um, sticker sheets or, you know, something like that. Something light, of course, that won't rip the page. But yeah, so that's cool. So we have these. And we have more. And they're called mini craft bags, and the size should be here. As you see, 2.75 by 4 inch bags, 25. I think there's 75 in total, so there should be another one in here. So we have these. And then here's the other set of mini craft bags. So yes, there's different things you can use these for, too. Again, um, you know what? I'm going to make a journal 
I may do one from scratch and then um, incorporate these items and stuff in it so you all can see what I'm talking about. Ooh, honey child, these is, well, this, not these, but this, there are, there's another one, is a traveler's notebook. It is regular white paper. This has that soft touch feel to it. I love these. And, you know, when I think of Webster's pages, I kind of think of traveler notebooks as well. So, he, oh, there's three. Here's another one. This has that soft touch feel to it as well. And this one is lined. Okay, nice. I think it goes this way. Yeah, it goes this way. Okay. And last but not least, we have another one. This one just feels like paper. The other two did feel like have that nice soft touch to it this just feels like just regular cardstock okay just glossy cardstock that one is lined as well and next we have oh ooh okay we've got some charms guys we've got charms so that's cool you know you, there's a lot you can do with these too butterfly charms all right, because you can make tassels and stuff out of these. Book thongs. Yes, I, my mind is going, y'all. All right, next we have more chipboard pieces. So we've got some chipboard buttons. Uh, oh, actually, these are stickers. What? So we've got some chipboard button stickers. So this says chipboard stickers. Um, quality adhesive chipboard buttons. And six 12 by 12 colors of twine, twine. Oh, they're down here. That is cool. So I guess you can make them, you know, look like actual buttons um, in your embellishment. So that is nice. I like that. And we have more buttons here. More chipboard sticker buttons with the twine at the bottom. So that's cool. Next we have fabric tickets. Oh, that's awesome. I've never seen that. That is pretty. This is really nice, guys. Fabric tickets. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Ooh, more fabric. So this is fabric ribbon. So stuff like this will be good for, um, you know, like scrapbooking and stuff like that. Or you can still use these in your, um, your journals and stuff like that. You can use them as, um, you know, uh, accents or whatnot. Like if you wanted to use something like this and then stick one of them big stickers over top of it. Or, you know, just different, y'all know, just different things you can use this stuff for. So, there's that. And next we have more little designer charms. And here we have bows, and they're white. Okay. And next we have several pages of stuffs. So first we have some alphabet stickers. Oh, we have two. So we have two sheets of alphabet stickers. And what does that say? 435 stickers. All right, so we've got that. Next we have some sticker sheets so this says tags and prompts stickers so that's cool and then we have some sentiment stickers that's cool and then we have more tags and prompts and these are glossy I was gonna say shiny but these are glossy and the other two are kind of matte so that's nice now let's get into these and see what these are. Whatever they are, they're in little plastic containers that look like little teeny um, jewel cases for CDs. Anybody still uh, listen to CDs? I do. 
All right, let's see if we can open this. But um, yeah, I hope everyone hasn't gone stir crazy yet with all this quarantine stuff going on. Like it's it's crazy. I'm not used to being stuck in the house this long, but you gotta abide by. Um, well, basically, you gotta do what's best so you don't get sick and get others sick as well. So this says days of the week. Oh, okay. All right, so let's open this. And it opens like a little CD case, right? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I assume this flips over. Yes, it does. See? And then you have this where you can display. That is really sweet. So you have days of the week. There's Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> that is cute, guys. So basically, it's its own standee where you can stand it up on your desk and you can have like stuff displayed. I'm trying to pull this out. You can have stuff displayed and, uh, oh, it's only Saturday and Sunday. And Friday, what? Are they double-sided? Let's see. Yes, they are double-sided. Okay. So that's odd. And then these fell out. So what are these? A beautiful day. Are they double-sided? No. They're like little playing cards. Oh, some of them are double-sided. And that's another one. And here it says, happy day. notes another one and then here's another one year number so these are cute you can use these as little tuck tuck pieces in your junk journals um and things like that that one's different these are cute okay all right, so these, this is very interesting, y'all. I like this. So there's one up, oh, and it's got a little crack in it, but that's okay. So let's pull this over to the side. And here's the next one. And this says it contains 18 designer journaling cards, eight 3.5 by 3.75 cards, and 10 3.5 by 2.25 cards, double-sided all-occasion journaling cards. Designs include calendars, motifs, journaling, and more. This one don't have any adhesive. Okay. So let's take a look at these. So here's the front. Here's those little cards. We'll put those in the back here. And then... What does that say? Favorite things. These are really cute. Really, really cute. But see, I like stuff like this. You know, like if you have pen pals, you can like jot little notes and stuff on here and send them with your little notes for the pen pals. I don't have any pen pals, but I think that would be really cute. Or um, if you participate in those um, swaps, uh, you can include some of these in that. I would love to participate in a swap. Let me know down below if that's something you guys ever do. Do you guys ever participate in the little swaps where you send stuff to people and get stuff in return? The little, uh, little mystery journaling stuff y'all know if y'all seen my videos y'all know i have plenty of stuff i could swap and i think that would be really really cool and it's a way to help get yourself out there to other people uh who may not know anything about you so i think it's a good idea when people do these 
Just as long as people play by the rules. I've seen some videos where people were not playing by the rules. So, I guess that's always a possibility. So, here we have journaling another journaling card set. I'm glad they're all different, too. And then it has the same deal here. So, let's go ahead and open this. There we go. So here's the first one. We have these back here. So that's interesting. And I like that even though some of these may be the same. Oh, nope, that one's the same on the back. So yeah, these are really, really, really cute. You can use them as little tuck cards um but see i always think of junk journals when i think of stuff like this anyhow and it's really it's really interesting to uh to make junk journals because you can make them out of anything just use your imagination and you're good to go and then we have these These are cute, guys. Let's grow. I'm glad I remembered to uh, put my phone on vibrate this time so I don't get interrupted with the notifications. I do apologize. There was an interruption in my previous video that I will link above um, with notifications. So, and then we have a couple of um, notepad sets. As you see, this one's not even adhered. But uh, so, yeah, we've got a couple of notepad sets. Notepads are always good. And again, this is all Webster's pages. And here's the other notepad set. And see, so you can include some of these in your little swaps and stuff. Y'all, I'm telling you. <laughs> and whatever these are, I have no idea what these are, y'all. Are these sticker thingies? I don't... Yeah, that is a sticker. It's a lot of stickers. It's a series of stickers. So... This outside rings a sticker, 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 sticker. That's odd. What are these? <laughs> and here's another one. If y'all know, let me know because I have no idea. I've never seen stickers like this before in a circular shape. So that's interesting. Then we have couple of more sticker sheets here okay there's nothing on the back of that so this says image and phrase stickers so we have these here along the sides a little some little phrases here little strips here then we've got some stickers here along the bottom and here the little circle stickers and then these guys this is like a frame this pink part is a frame and then we have all of these individual stickers as well. Then our next one is the same deal. Now these feel like fabric, but they're not, if that makes sense. This has that fabric-y feel to it. That's, that's odd. I like it, though. So this says Seaside Retreat. That's what this one is modeled at. well that's what this one is called this is really pretty i like this sticker sheet really nice and then we have another sheet that's akin to the first one that we showed and again we have the little cars and we have different quotes and sayings on the side here and then more stickers and stuff here so that is cute 
and then we get into the last of this is a huge stack of uh, papers here so here are more stickers so these are letter stickers all different colored letters different sizes um, so yeah that's that's interesting and then we have a another sticker sheet so this is one huge sticker <laughs> I can't begin to imagine what I would use that for um, I love this tree. That tree is gorgeous. Now I could see using some of this like for your cover, but this would, in my opinion, would be too, too big. But, you know, again, um, my creativity don't reach that far. So <laughs> I'm sure people would find uses for that, or you can cut it and, you know, use different pieces of it. But that's interesting as well to see all these different color different stickers now i don't like the wasted space you see all this wasted space i don't like that because i like to use you know the stickers and stuff and then this is the last item in the box and we're going to go ahead and open this so you all can see what's in this paper pad so again this particular pad was 35 bucks and again was it worth it for this pad this box i'm going to say yes it is definitely worth it because um as we all know again you know a lot of these items if you add these items up on their own uh it's going to be more than 35 bucks. I can tell you that. And including shipping. So yeah, it'll be more than that. So here we have, again, y'all know how I am about this. This is a whole sheet. You can cut out all these little individuals. <gasps> Look at that marbleization. Oh, it's double-sided. I love it. But yes, and then you can even use this as a washi strip. Washi strip. <laughs> You can even use this right here, like guys. Oh, this is gorgeous. Like again, you can use these as little journaling prompts and stuff in your junk journals. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, this is mother this is the way I think. Um, and then we have another one here. And as you see, look at that. It's little kitty kitties, and then that says love. And then there's kitty kitties on the back. And oh, guys, that's a gorgeous piece of paper, y'all. Gorgeous. And then another strip here at the bottom. And then bicycles on the back. Then we've got some swans here. And then grid paper on the back. Next we have, and y'all know I like some Atlas stuff, so we've got this here. If you want, you can just write in all the little areas here, and the geometric shapes on the back. That's sweet. Guys, I'm loving this paper pad, this paper pack. This paper pack is nice. Then we've got stripes on the back of this one very beautiful i love that and this is giving you an idea of what may be on the back and boom it is <laughs> and then we've got more here that we can cut out again when i think about stuff like this i think about for instance if you're making a mini notebook so you can like cut these out you could have like for instance this could be the cover this could be the back or you can have this to be the cover and part of this to be the back. What I mean by that is you can laminate them, cut them, uh, punch them, and boom, there's your covers right there. There's your covers. You can cut these out and use them as um, little tuck spots or 
do people still make uh what are they called gosh i forgot what they're called those note those little notebook things with the little cards journaling the, the little cards in them i can't remember what they're called anyway um i wonder if people still make those uh but yeah anyway so here's another sheet here and then gives you an idea of what it's going to look like on the back. Marbleization. Love it. And then here. This is interesting. Nice cardstock. Oh, let me flip this over. Are these sticker sheets? Wait a minute. What is this? Overlay. What is this? <gasps> Guys, it's transparency. It's not sticky. That's a transparency. What? Stop playing. These are transparencies. Oh, that is freaking amazing. Okay. Okay. That is freaking cool. It's stuff already printed on transparencies. This is interesting. That is interesting. They're called overlays. This is love this overlay. I love this. <laughs> this is nice. So see, so you could still take these, cut them out, and laminate them. And you still have your nice see-through, like dashboard or whatever. This is crazy. Hello Cards Overlay. Y'all, this is so cool. Okay. This is cool. Very, very cool. I've never seen this before, but again, y'all heard me say that in the last video. I have not. I have never seen um transparencies in um cardstock before. That hey guys, this this was a very, very nice box. I'm just saying. Um, this is a first for me. This with the transparencies. Um, these are very interesting. I really like stuff like this. Like, guys, I love stuff that are different. And to me, this whole box is a box of stuff that is different. And I'm cool with that. Um... I like different. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess that'll be it for this video. Um, thank you all for watching. You guys are amazing. And, uh, yeah, if you feel led to do so, please hit that subscribe button for more videos coming here in the near future. This is Lynn, a.k.a. Blog All About It. Till next time, guys, take care. Be safe. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.